Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, it is uh, said that the dolly shown is useful in the handling of large drums. Determine the force F necessary to hold a drum in the position shown. You may neglect the weight of the dolly in comparison with that of 250 kg drum whose center of mass is at G. There is sufficient friction to prevent slipping at the contact point P. Right, so let's let me draw uh, the weight of this drum, which is acting vertically downward. Right, so this will be the weight of this drum, which will be acting vertically downward here at this center of gravity. Right, let's say that this is that weight, and this weight is uh, 250 kg. Right, so 250 times 9.81. So 250 times 9.81 will be the weight. 250 times 9.81 this is 2452.5 right so the weight is let me write here that the weight is 2452.5 newtons right and here at p we will have normal force which will be acting in the upward direction that is normal to the surface like this so this will be that normal force and here it is said that there is sufficient friction so let's say that the friction is acting in this direction right so here we have that point p so now if we since the system is in equilibrium so if we apply the summation of moment about point p equals to zero and if we consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive so now as we can see that this force F is producing the uh, counterclockwise moment about that point P. Here we have that point P, right? This is that point P. So we can write that F is producing the counterclockwise moment. So you will write that this is plus F multiplied by the moment arm from that point P, right? So if I draw the moment arm for this uh, force F about that point P, right? So we will have this distance, right? Let me draw it, right? So this distance right so if i move this here right so we will have this distance the perpendicular distance between this force and that point p right so we are required to find this distance so now if if, if i move this uh, line here right if i place it here somewhere like this so now as we can see that this perpendicular distance of this force f from that point p is equal to 900 plus this 150 and then plus this distance right this distance so now if i draw a line here let me draw a line from this point c to that point p right so this length is 300 mm this is equal to the radius of this curve right so this is 300 so now as we can see that here we have 25 degree angle this is given that this is 25 degree right so this line if i draw a line here so this line is making 25 degree with this surface and this black line this line is perpendicular with this line and this 300 mm line is perpendicular with the surface right so if if here we have 25 degree angle then there is then here we have 25 degree angle as well right so we can say that this is 25 degree angle as well so now if this is 300 then let's say that this point is let's say that this point is p dash right so then if we can say that if we consider this c p dash p triangle then c p dash is the base of this triangle and this is the hypotenuse the cp length is the hypotenuse let me draw that here as well right let me clarify it so we have that uh, p point here this is that c this length is equal to the radius this is 300 and here we have that cp dash like this this is that p dash point and i can join it like this so this angle is 25 right so this means that this cp dash length is 300 cos of 25 degrees right so the perpendicular distance of this force f from that point p is 900 mm i will write 900 plus this 150 and plus this this cp dash which is 300 cos of 25 right so i will write that this is 300 cos of 25 degrees 
now uh, if we resolve this uh, weight into its components right this is the weight so if i extend the line affection of this weight if i extend the line affection of this weight so this weight is perpendicular to this surface and again if i if i move this line now let me move this right so this line is parallel to this line right so this is that line so now as we can see that this line is perpendicular to this line right the base of this dolly right so if this is perpendicular to this and this weight is perpendicular to this so again here we have that 25 degree angle so this is that 25 right so now we can resolve this weight into two components here at point g so this weight will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this this will be the cos component right we can write that this will be w cos of 25 degree and similarly we will have one component which will be acting like this right and this one will be the sine component right so let me remove this so this is the sine component this is w sine of 25 degrees so now as we can see that both of these components of the weights are producing the moment about that point p as well right only this friction force and this normal force are not producing the moment about the, this point p since they are passing through this point p so now as we can see that this sine component is producing the counterclockwise moment about that point p so i will write plus and w sine of 25 so w is here which is 24 52.5 sine of 25 and now the perpendicular distance of this uh, sine component from that point p so now if i extend the line of action of this w sine of 25 so then the perpendicular distance of mm, uh, this sine component from that point p is this 150 this 150 plus that cp dash length right so this will be the perpendicular distance let me show it to you people this will be the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point p right i can place it here so this length is equal to 150 this 150 plus this cp dash right so i will write that this is 150 plus cp dash which is again this cp dash this is 300 cos of 25 so 300 cos of 25 degrees right similarly this cos component of the weight is producing the clockwise moment about that point p so i will write minus and this is w cos of so 2452.5 cos of 25 and now the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point p is how much so let me draw that here let me show it to you people right so this distance this is the distance right this is the distance right let me put it here right so now this length this length is 425 plus this length right and if i move this perpendicular distance to this point so now as we can see that this small length is that p p dash length right so the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point p is 425 let me write that this is 425 plus this p p dash which is the uh, sine component of this 300 right so i will write that this is 300 sine of 25 and this will be equal to 0 right so now we can calculate that force f which is required to maintain the equilibrium right so this is 900 plus 15 plus 300 cos of 25 degrees so this is uh, 186 11 1187 so i will write that this is 1187 f plus uh, 2452.5 sine of 25 into 150 plus 300 cos of 25 so this is equal to 4372279 let me write 
फोर थ्री सेवन टू सेवन नाइन राइट एंड नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस राइट सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी फोर फिफ्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव कॉज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव प्लस थ्री हंड्रेड साइन ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव so this is 122.64.64 right so this is minus 122.64.64 and this will be equal to zero right so now this is 4372.79 4372.79 minus 122.64.64 so this is a uh, Minus seven eight nine one eight five seven eight nine one eight five and this is equal to zero. So from this we can write that this is seven eight nine one eight five divided by eleven eighty seven. So this will give us that force F, right? So we can write that minus minus answer. Divided by eleven eighty seven. So the force F is six sixty four newtons, right? So F is six sixty four newtons, right? So I hope you people would have understood this problem. So the force which is required, which is necessary to hold a drum in the position shown. so that magnitude for the magnitude of that force is 664 newtons kindly like my videos if that help in your learning also subscribe my channel for such more problem solutions